Kuala Lumpur, just hours ahead of what is seen as one of the most contested elections ever in the country's political history, the Merdeka Center for Opinion Research has predicted that Barisa Nasian Alfian was set to be re-elected into power. A survey among registered voters in the peninsula between April 28 until noon today found that ruling coalition would however suffer a popular vote decline. It found that topping the list of voters' concern was the cost of living and governance issues. This has been an election propelled by a voter revolt over the GST, goods and services tax, as well as concerns over rising cost of living, running parallel alongside perceived governance shortfalls. The top three issues considered most important to the voters were economic concerns at 43%, followed by good governance, corruption issues at 21%, and weakness of leadership at 8%. Play voters expressed the highest concern about economic issues, 46%, and followed by good governance issue, 17%. Chinese voters placed equal emphasis on economic 37% and corruption issues 35%. Meanwhile, Indian voters also held high levels of concern over economic issues 43% and placed the need for better treatment towards the Indian community at 15%. Younger voters, those below 40 years old, placed more emphasis on matters related to good governance and leadership, while voters over 40 years expressed slightly higher on concerns over communal rights 11%. The survey also detected a significant shift to factors such as ethnic rights, which saw a perceptible decline, while desire for better economic performance increased. Barisan Nasional was expected to garner 37.3% of the popular votes, while Pakatan Harapan 43.4% and Pajas 19.3%. However, based on the survey results, BN presently still retained a sizable seat advantage over its rivals. Based on current standings, it estimated there were 100 safe seats for BN, 83 for Pakatan Harapan and just 2 for PA, with a 37 marginal seats. The Merdeka Center predicted that alongside possibility to retain at least one quarter of the Malay vote share, it was anticipated that BN would prevail in the election. The high number of marginal seats, 37, implies that voter turnout will be a critical factor in determining the outcome of many seats on election day, it said in a statement released today. A total of 1,579 registered voters in 70 marginal seats in Peninsular Malaysia comprising 68% Malay, 24% Chinese and 8% Indian respondents were interviewed by telephone in the poll. In addition to the National Marginal Seat Survey, additional state-level tracking surveys were concurrently carried out in Selangor and Johor. These were complemented by earlier surveys in Kelantan, Terengganu, Pahang, Penang, Kedah, Kuala Lumpur, Negeri Sembilan and Malacca, all of which were conducted between April 7 and 26, 2018. However, it said there remain two important events that were to take place later tonight, that is the final address by BN Chairman and Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Razak as well as one from Tan Dr. Magathur Mohammed. It said as the survey was concluded at noon today, it may not capture any last-minute shift or changes that may take place in the final hours of the campaign.